Hey everybody, I'm Ben from Real Response, and what I'm going to be showing you today is a little trick on how to advance a cannula when you think you may have hit a valve. So we all know those times everyone says, oh, I've hit a valve, and you know, it's like, yeah, come on, you've, you've just blown it, let's be honest. But sometimes you may have hit a valve, and this is a little trick on how to save that cannula. So you've come into the vein, you've got decent flashback, you've lowered down, you've advanced the catheter, and you felt some resistance. And what you don't want to do is push that cannula further because you're going to rupture a vessel, going to cause damage, you're probably going to lose the vein. But you're sure you're in the vein and why can't you advance it? What may have happened is the catheter may have hit a valve. And what we need to do is a little trick to then open that valve and then allow the cannula to go in. So I'm going to show exactly what that might look like and how we can actually save that cannula. So, we've got our awesome model here. Okay. Giving that a bit of a why. Got my 20 gauge. I'm not considering doing a 14, but you know, probably is going to be a bit cruel. And take her arm down like this. Bit of tension. Come in. Done. I've got my flashback, lowering down, advancing my catheter. I start advancing and I can't go any further. I'm wondering why I can't go any further. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on. I'm going to take the tourniquet off. I don't want any blood to pour out. I've got my sharps container ready and I'm going to take the needle out. But it's still not all the way in. I've taken that out, sharps away. What I've got here, I've got a pre-filled syringe of just some saline connected to my bung. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to twist the bung on. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to make sure that I'm securing the cannula with one finger and I'm twisting that on. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to slowly push the fluid in and advance the catheter as we do it. If I've hit a valve by pushing that fluid through, that's opening up the valve allowing the catheter to then enter the vein nicely and smugly like this. And we've got a patent cannula running smoothly and I'm all good. I can just take this off, secure this as required and deliver whatever it is that I need to deliver. Little trick, uh, when I was taught that it's allowed me to save many, many, many cannulas uh, and I hope this is going to assist uh, people out there. Thank you very much.